North Korean state media said Tuesday its leader Kim Jong-un received photos of, quote, major target regions in the United States, taken by its recently launched spy satellite. KCNA said the batch includes photos of the White House, Pentagon and U.S. aircraft carriers. Seoul officials say the North's claims could not be confirmed as it has not released the photos. Contention over the satellite spilled over into a snap meeting of the U.N. Security Council a day earlier, which was called to convene after last week's launch, following dozens of ballistic missile tests over the past 20 months. It resulted in a rare, direct, public exchange between the U.S. and North Korea. Here's U.S. Ambassador Linda Thompson-Greenfield. The DPRK is unabashedly trying to advance its nuclear weapons delivery systems by testing ballistic, ballistic missile technology in clear violation of this council's resolutions. In unplanned remarks at the end of the meeting, Thompson Greenfield rejected Pyongyang's claims that its launches were defensive actions in response to military provocation by the U.S. and its allies, but extended an offer for dialogue, quote, without preconditions. The United States is just threatening us with a nuclear weapon. In response, North Korea's Ambassador Kim Song defended what he called his country's, quote, legitimate right to develop its weapon systems on par with the U.S. North Korea has been under U.N. sanctions for its ballistic missile and nuclear programs for nearly two decades. But for the past several years, the U.N. Security Council has been divided on how to deal with Pyongyang, with veto powers Russia and China arguing against further sanctions. Washington says such protection from Moscow and Beijing only emboldens North Korea to continue to flout UN resolutions.